A recent study led by a University of Utah professor is raising some concerns about Utah's ozone problem, especially for pregnant people. The study looked at data from children born in Utah between 2003 and 2014. It found that ozone exposure during pregnancy, especially in the second trimester, was linked to a higher risk of intellectual disabilities. In fact, for every 10 parts per billion increase in ozone levels, kids were over 50% more likely to develop an intellectual disability compared to their siblings and nearly 23% more likely than the general population of Utah children. Unlike the Ozone layer we hear about protecting us from UV rays. This is ground level ozone, and it can really mess with your lungs and cause inflammation and long term damage to your airways. Now, researchers aren't totally sure why ozone can lead to higher rates of intellectual disability. They suspect that ozone might cause oxidative stress, which messes with your body's natural balance of free radicals and antioxidants, or it could harm the placenta. But more research is needed to figure out exactly how it's affecting neurological development. For Utahns, this is a concern because ozone levels tend to spike during the summer months along the Wasatch Front. And in the winter, areas like the Uinta Basin can get hit hard due to emissions from the state's oil and gas production. In fact, several counties in Utah, like Davis, Salt Lake, and Weber, Received an F grade for high ozone days in the American Lung Association's 2024 State of the Air report. People can visit air.utah.gov to check for ozone and particulate matter levels in 14 counties.